Listener Bill was having a problem, and in it, he stumbled onto a quick tip. He said, I had an old iPhone 5 go a bit haywire. Uh, it was on its charger, but only at 1%. I plugged it into a different charger, uh, and that helped. But then iTunes would no longer sync. It kept hanging at the final step. Uh, he says, uh, I progressively ended up going as far as a factory reset, reset with no restore, but my iMac still treated it as the same iPhone with the same sync issues. How did I fix it? I ended up syncing it to another computer. Somehow that forced the iMac to treat it as a new slash different phone and syncing finally worked again. So that's really interesting that even after a factory reset, the Mac knew that it was something it should try to like, I'm trying to figure out where the data is stored that would cause that would allow another computer to reset it. I mean, if you factory reset the iPhone, theoretically that would have wiped out anything on the phone. So is there something in like your iCloud account that, ties a computer to a phone or is a factory reset not quite a factory reset like that these these are the things that inquiring minds want to know i like the solution though like th that should not be overlooked because that's great excellent